Africa, cricket has become increasingly popular in recent years with fans from Mali to Mozambique. Now, a UK-based charity, Cricket Without Boundaries, is using the sport to try to tackle one of the continent's biggest problems, the spread of HIV and AIDS. Phil Mackey has been to see one of their projects in Rwanda. Cricket at its most basic. It's enough to make the pitch inspectors wince, but it's also cricket with a message. Do you remember about the A, the B and the C? To abstain, to be faithful and to use condoms. Volunteers from the UK are using an innovative combination of coaching and lessons about AIDS prevention. I'm the batsman. I am protecting myself. It is the same when you use condoms. The cricket is my best game and I pray. When I pray, it, I feel happy. They taught us how to bat, how to catch, and how to bowl. And you remember your ABC? Uh, yes. In Rwanda, the problem's not as bad as elsewhere in Africa, but with 3% of the population infected, it's still officially an epidemic. <laughs> At this night clinic, they provide free HIV advice and testing, but it's also about education. So the idea of combining the ABC message with cricket has been welcomed. Uh, when you talk about sports and HIV, it's, it's directly linked because you, you, have, you want to be healthy, you want to not have something inside your body destroying you. So if you do cricket and you fight HIV at the same time, it's a wonderful idea. And it is just as much about having fun as learning a serious lesson. But the next generation of Rwandans must also overcome the ghosts of the past. Of course, when you think of Rwanda, you instinctively remember the 1994 genocide, and this was where one of the worst massacres took place. They still unearth human remains from time to time, and everywhere there are still physical reminders, like these bullet holes, of what went on. There are plans to build a national stadium in Rwanda, but for the time being, this is it. The charity, Cricket Without Boundaries, has been working in the country for five years. The cricket legacy, that's really easy because half the national team have been coached by us. The AIDS legacy, well, that's a little bit harder. But even if one person has heard our messages, as we hope that's going to make a real difference. And they'll also leave Rwandan coaches to continue to spread the cricketing and HIV awareness messages once the volunteers from the UK have gone. Phil Mackey, BBC News, Rwanda.